Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. One of the big trends when it comes to classic garden tractors is keeping them all original. The original patina of when that tractor was used back in the day in Creedon Auto from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Tell us a little bit about this Holder tractor. Uh, it's a, uh, about a 1960 Holder, 12-horse uh, Saks, two-cycle diesel. Uh, it's pretty much original, articulates uh, six speeds forward, three speeds reverse, uh, two-speed power takeoff, uh, hydraulics, differential lock, uh, turn signals, high beam, low beam, headlights, brake lights, very unique. <laughs> it's got about everything a guy could want, doesn't it? Yeah, almost everything a fellow would even consider on a tractor. It's kind of different, really different. And where did this tractor come from? Where was it built? Uh, it was built in Germany. I'm not sure of the town or township over in Germany. Uh, I have a couple other German tractors, and this one just fell into my collection. I really like it. <laughs> Where did you come across this tractor then? Uh, I was advertising for a Porsche tractor, and a fellow contacted me from New Jersey and said he had this holder, which is a German tractor. And I said, well, I got my heart set on the Porsche, but uh, I'll think about it. And I called him back three weeks later, and he still had it. And, uh, and now I got it. <laughs> And I'm running out of space for tractors, but that's the part of the disease, I guess. <laughs> what do you like about the holder the best? Well, it articulates, steering it bends in the middle. Uh, it has a different sound for a diesel. I turn it, a lot of people take a lot of pictures of it when you're in the show. It's different, you know. The oddball stuff is really unique, you know. You got this tractor with a cultivator on it that's pretty unique as well. Show us a little bit about what that's all about. But uh, also for uneven ground, it would, uh, the right to left, it would change. And to change your width, you just pull the, pull the pin and it's, it's adjustable. And to square your things up, you have to move these out. It has the brush guards on it. Uh, you can pull a pin out front, and this would, whole assembly would come off. And you could add another plow or another attachment through there. You also pull this, and you get this, this whole toolbar to, for width and distance on anything else that uh, you'd have another attachment for. So, Creedon, tell me a little bit about why a guy from Pennsylvania ends up with all this German equipment. Well, we started off with uh, the blue one here behind us, and that is uh, the seed that started it, and the rest of them seemed to keep on growing after that. But that's a German tractor also, and I kind of thought, it's just this is going to fit right into my scheme, you know? And I guess with that last name like Otto, we should almost utilize all the all the German stuff you should. <laughs> all right, Creedon Otto from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. He's got a holder tractor all the way from Germany.